6,000 steps. 6,010 steps, 6,020. Still 4,000 steps to go until I have my 10,000 steps a day. But this is what we need to stay healthy, right? Right? Is this even based on research? 10,000 steps a day? Let's find out and look at some studies. Let's take a short trip back in time. In the mid-1960s, a small plastic pocket watch-like device went on sale in Japan. It was called the Manpoke and it was the world's first commercial step counter. This is what it looked like. Roughly translated, Manpoke means 10,000 steps meter. Why 10,000? Well, the answer is surprising because it was a pure marketing tool. For one, 10,000 is an easy number to remember. And secondly, the character for 10,000 in Japanese looks like a little person walking. With a bit of imagination, I guess I can see a man. So what this means is that these 10,000 steps we are supposed to walk every day don't actually come from science. So does this mean we can just chill and lie on the couch? <laughs> Well, not quite. Researchers studied hunter-gatherers in Tanzania to see how humans lived thousands of years ago and how much they actually moved. And they found that men walked on average 18,434 steps a day, while women walked 10,921 steps a day. On top, they didn't have many of the chronic illnesses of Western societies that are linked to inactivity. So should women start getting those extra 921 steps? Well, perhaps not. In a 2019 study, researchers found that women who averaged 4,400 steps a day had lower mortality rates than those who took fewer than 3,000 steps. Mortality rates went down as step rates went up until around 7,500 steps. But after that, no additional mortality benefit was observed. Another thing worth remembering is that the step counter on your wrist doesn't really measure steps at all, but the motion of your hands or your hips. 4,000. 4,010. What are you doing? Well, I figured because we have this competition going on at work, who takes the most steps. And I realized if I just move my wrist, my watch thinks I'm walking and I'm so gonna win this competition. Step counts are a rough proxy for energy expenditure, but what is really important is the amount of energy you burn. And not all steps are created equally. For example, walking slowly on level ground requires less energy than walking briskly. But walking briskly uphill requires even more energy. What this means is that if you have only done a few thousand steps but they were brisk and uphill, there's no need to walk around in circles to get to 10,000 steps. A 2020 analysis of several studies suggested that adding a thousand walking steps per day helps to lower the risk of all-cause mortality and cardiovascular disease. For each additional 1,000 steps, the risk for all-cause mortality went down up until 36% and up to 21% for cardiovascular disease. And although the number of daily steps needed for optimal health is not clear, studies indicate we see health benefits even below 10,000 steps per day. So instead of saying walk 10,000 steps a day, which was originally a marketing ploy, a better suggestion would be every move counts. Thank you so much for watching this video again. It'd be great if you could give me a like, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.